If you want to be free, then don't run and hide. This is a time for looking the world in the bloody eye, together, coming together. Strength does not come from physical capacity, it comes from indomitable will, Mahatma Gandhi. And that will, that will says we are not having it any more. Human race, get off your knees. What are you doing down there? Hey! All these reasons we get on our knees. Oh God and all oh bloody hell. You're, you, all that exists, all imagination, all possibility, all that is, has been and ever can be, what are you on your freaking knees to? Yourself. Ridiculous. Come on. Get off your knees. Look at the dynamics. Look at the numbers. It can only happen because we allow ourselves to be divided and ruled. Divided and ruled through our contic religions under different names. Divided and ruled by the ludicrous fault lines of race and culture. Celebrate your race, celebrate your culture. But it's an experience, we're all one. <laughs> Divided and ruled by the ludicrous liberal, democrat, labour, conservative, republican bollocks. Masks on the same face. Rich and poor and all these bloody things. And there's another divide and rule that people forget about. Me, me, me. What divides me, me, me from everything else is I'll only do what I think is right for me, me, me in the circumstances that I face. Why don't we start uh, uh, responding and reacting to situations on the basis of what is right and what is just and what is fair in that situation for all concerned rather than what is right for me, me, me. I say this, what are you doing, you people in science? who are developing every day more efficient ways of killing your fellow humanity and poisoning them even ever more efficiently. What are you doing? You have children. You have grandchildren. You are destroying their world. Look in the eyes of your children, grandchildren, and tell them you can justify that. Why are you doing it? Because of me, me, me. My job, my money, my career. What about your humanity? What about your sense of decency? This is a guy called Donovan Hunter. He's going round these bloody things, selling to the authorities the battle prod. Which is like millions of volts you to be used that will make the taser with 55,000 volts look like a tea party. And he's got children and grandchildren. And he's trying to flog this into the world that they're going to have to inherit. All you people that work for Monsanto and are not core insiders, you people that work for these agencies that are destroying small farmers and small uh, uh, businesses and growers, all you that are working for the system in dark suit administrations, what are you doing? Me, 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 that is what you're doing. And you're destroying everything decent by the obsession with self and your own uh, desires and your own greed and your own self-indulgence. You people in the media, what are you doing? You go around reporting the world the way the system wants it reporting, telling the people the version of events that suits the system, the very system that wants to destroy the world and enslave your children and your grandchildren. What are you doing? How about this lady, Amber Lyon, worked for CNN, was told to lie about reporting in uh, Bahrain where that vicious, vicious regime is uh, treating and torturing the people of Bahrain in that grotesque, tyrannical way that they are 
unchallenged by the West because it suits the West for them to do it. When she was told to lie, she was out of there and she's exposing CNN for the fraud that it is. That's a journalist. And, uh, hey, you know, every, every now and again I get approached by celebrities. Uh, oh, you're doing a great job, mate. I think it's wonderful what you're doing. Okay, and what are you going to do? You're going to make a freaking film now, aren't you? You're going to make another bloody record. You're going to stand in front of tens of thousands of people. You're going to go on chat shows watched by millions of people. And are you going to bring this subject up yourself? No! Why? Me, me, me. How would it affect my career? I tell, I tell you, anyone in the public eye, come nowhere near me unless you are prepared to put your bloody self where your mouth is. Walk the talk or walk the other way. And then all these people, there's some great stuff goes on on the internet and there's some great information passed around forums, but my God, there's some bollocks. I tell you what, oh my God. Uh, you know, I, I have sympathy for those that don't know what's happening because they've never come across the information, they just don't work in those circles. I can see that. I'm doing nothing because I don't know. It's more and more difficult to justify that, as I've said, but some people do. Okay, fair enough. But when people, not least through the efforts of others, have access to information about what's happening in the world and the direction it's going and what's at the end of this bloody rainbow unless we sort it out. And their only contribution is abusing each other on the fricking internet and trying to abuse and undermine those who've got the guts to stand up and actually do something. That is beyond the cesspit for me and far worse than people that don't know doing nothing. Instead of arguing with each other in, in you know, foreign bloody arguments between people you don't bloody know anyway, it's a bloody login name, and bloody trying to abuse people who are trying to do something, look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself a question. What are you doing? And get off your ass and use your bloody time to make a difference rather than just become another expression of the frickin' problem. Oh, I've won the argument. He's not responded. Bloody hell. Walk the talk or shut the fuck up. And there's another divide and rule that people forget about. Me, me, me. What divides me, me, me from everything else is I'll only do what I think is right for me, me, me in the circumstances that I face. Why don't we start uh, uh, responding and reacting to situations on the basis of what is right and what is just and what is fair in that situation for all concerned rather than what is right for me, me, me. What are you doing? My job, my money, my career. Me, me, me. What are you doing? What are you doing? My job, my money, my career. Me, me, me. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You people in science who are developing every day more efficient ways of killing your fellow humanity and poisoning them even more efficiently. What are you doing? You have 
every, every now and again I get approached by celebrities. Uh, oh, you're doing a great job, mate. I think it's wonderful what you're doing. Okay, and what are you going to do? You're going to make a freaking film now, aren't you? You're going to make another bloody record. You're going to stand in front of tens of thousands of people. You're going to go on chat shows watched by millions of people. And are you going to bring this subject up yourself? No. Why? Me, me, me. How will it affect my career? I tell, I tell you, anyone in the public eye, come nowhere near me unless you are prepared to put your bloody self where your mouth is. Talk or walk the other way. What are you doing? My job, my money, my career. Me, me, me. What are you doing? What are you doing? My job, my money, my career. Me, me, me. What are you doing? What are you doing? But when people, not least through the efforts of others, have access to information about what's happening in the world and the direction it's going and what's at the end of this bloody rainbow unless we sort it out and their only contribution is abusing each other on the freaking internet and trying to abuse and undermine those who've got the guts to stand up and actually do something that is beyond the cesspit for me and far worse for people that don't know doing nothing Instead of arguing with each other, in you know, like four and bloody arguments between people you don't bloody know anyway, it's a bloody logging name, and bloody trying to abuse people who are trying to do something, look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself a question. What are you doing? And get off your ass and use your bloody time to make a difference, rather than just become another expression of the freaking problem. Oh, I've won the argument. He's not responded. Bloody hell. Walk the talk or shut the fuck up. What are you doing? My job, my money, my career. Me, me, me. What are you doing? What are you doing? My job, my money, my career. Me, me, me. What are you doing? What are you doing? My job, my 